here we are going to see some important laws related to the operations on sets. The first one is what is known as distributive law. Now distributive law is something that you are already familiar with in numbers. For example, you know it as a times b plus c is a times b plus a times c on numbers. right? This is true for all kinds of numbers, positive, negative, rational, irrational, everything it holds. right? Here we have something similar. A intersection B union C is A intersection B union A intersection C. Now many people think of intersection as something like multiplication and union as something like addition though these are not exactly correct because the addition of numbers can produce a number which is very different. Here the addition of the union of two sets can only contain elements that are in these sets right so it's obviously different but because distributive law applies here people tend to think like that and i'll show you where the analogy will actually break but first let's see if this statement is even true right for that we have just drawn the venn diagrams and we are going to see using the venn diagram how this statement is actually true. So first let us look at the left hand side. We have A intersection B union C. Now first let us find B union C because that is in the brackets. B union C will be this blue shaded region because contains B and C elements both. Now what is the set A intersection B union C? Well, that will contain where A overlaps with this region we just shaded and that is going to be here and here. So you can see that A intersection B union C is this yellow region. Now let us come to the right hand side. First we have to find A intersection B and A intersection C. Now what is A intersection B? Well, A intersection B is this blue region and A intersection C is this blue region and the union of both will be the combination of these two regions which I have done in yellow and you can see that the left hand side and the right hand side give the exact same region. Now the important thing here is the Venn diagram representation is useful because it is general. It is not for any particular A, B and C. The specific shape of the diagram or the circle does not matter. This is just something to denote that this has all the elements of set A. Now if I said A is here. B does not overlap with A, that is a special case because I have used A intersection B is null. But if you assume that A, B, C can all overlap and draw the most general situation, that is as good as a general proof for the law that we have just written. Right? So this is why A intersection B union C is A intersection B union A intersection C and just like distributive law in numbers. This law will be very useful when we do operations on more than two sets. Okay? Now we come to the other law which is A union B intersection C is A union B intersection A union C. Now this distributive law has no analogy in numbers. In numbers you have A times B plus C is A times B plus A times C. But you never have the equivalent. We never write, see we know A times B plus C is, okay? but we never write because this would be absurd, but that is exactly similar to what we have actually written here. But let us see if it is true. As usual, let us start with first B intersection C would be this region. A union B intersection C would be the set A union this. So, it will contain all the elements in A 
plus this. So, this blue is actually our A union B intersection C. Okay. Now, let us see what happens here. Okay. First, let us find A union B. A union B will be the full region that is common to A and B. Sorry, that is either in A or in B or in both, not common, that is intersection. Here it is it's there in A or D or both. Okay. What about A union C? A union C, let me just do it in a different color, will be the yellow part Okay. Now, the question is what is the intersection of these two and that you will see is this part is there in both colors. So, I am using this as part of the intersection. Okay. So, all of this will come and then this small part will also come. So, you will find that the blue region is exactly the same in both the left hand side as well as the right hand side which is why this distributive law, this is distribution of union over intersection is also true in set theory and it has no analogy in numbers and these two distributive laws are very very important when we do operations on sets. The next set of laws is what are known as De Morgan's laws. They concern union and intersection along with complement. So, the first one is A union B the whole complement is A complement intersection B complement and just like we did with distributive law, let us try and show this using Venn diagrams. right? So, first let us look at A union B will be this yellow region. Now, A union B the whole complement will be whatever is in the universal set which is the rectangle here, but not inside A union B. So, that means the, the correct answer is the blue region which is A union B the whole complement. Okay? Now, let us look at the right hand side A complement intersection B complement. So, let us first do A complement. A complement is whatever is outside A. Correct. So, all the stuff that is outside A is A complement. Okay. So, this is the yellow region is A complement. Okay. Now, what about B complement? B complement is everything outside of B. That means, it will include this. Now, it will include some of these elements here, but not include anything in B. So, you can see that B complement is, is what I have used here. Okay? Now, and you can see that the common region comes neither in A complement nor in B complement. Okay, that is fine. But what is the intersection between these two? Where did I shade for both A complement as well as B complement? And that you can see includes this region. Okay, here yellow is not there. Here the other color is not there. So, the common part is the blue region and that is exactly what we have got on the left hand side also. Okay? So, the blue part is exactly the same which is why A union B the whole complement is A complement intersection B complement. Now, the other law is A intersection B the whole complement is A complement union B complement. And we can do the same thing here also. First, let us do A intersection B, that is the common region, and A intersection B, the whole complement will be everything outside of that small region. Okay. So, the blue is our re required left hand side region. On the right hand side, let us look at A complement first, which will look at everything outside of A. Okay. And similarly, let us look at B complement, which will look at everything outside of B.
and now what we need is the union of both now the union of both will include pretty much everything inside the rectangle except for this small intersection part which is not in a complement or in b complement so it won't come in the union so therefore the union of these two will actually be the entire region without this part so it matches exactly with what we got in the left hand side now these two laws along with the distributive laws are extremely important when we solve problems and when we want to do any operations on more than two sets and we want to simplify we will be using these laws extensively.